Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Shab Medina, and we're going to talk about Gen 8 here in the, the Gen 8 petting zoo. Tell me a little bit about all these servers that we've got surrounding us. So Jake, what we have here is the entire collection of Gen 8 servers that we have launched so far. We have everything from the 360E and the 360P to the 380Es and the, and the towers, the ML 350s, as well as our four processor 560 server. So this is where we are displaying them for people to come in, play with them, see all the thought that went into creating these products. And we're standing right here next to the uh, 380P. What What is special about this particular Gen 8 server? The 380 series is the world's largest selling server. And 380P is a is the next is a generation eight of the 380, and that's why it's center stage. But in terms of technology, the technology it has is the same as all of our other Gen 8 products. Now, it's my understanding that this server and all of the Gen 8 servers have been rethought in terms of how easy they are to administer from a repair standpoint. Can you talk a little bit about how repair has been simplified in um, administering servers? The first thing you will notice is how clean uh, these servers are. There are no cables, they've all been routed. It's easy to work in. It has two effects. Number one, not only is it easy to work in, but the airflow. Uh, the air flows from the front to the back unhindered. Then, there's a color coding system. Um, it's toolless. You can work on most things without having any tools. And the knobs are either red or blue. The red buttons indicate hot swap capability. The blue means cold. That means you have to shut the server down when you shut it, when you want to work on it. The removal of the baffle, which opens up the space, the entire fan cage can be removed at once that opens up all that space so you can get to the cables. Notice how all the cables are lined up in the front so they, they completely don't obstruct your working capability. Smart socket guide and intelligent power supplies that automatically negotiate the power they need with your power, from, with your power distribution unit. And this is a very elegant design. I mean, this is almost like uh, you hired Porsche to come in and, and design your server. We should have, right? But our engineers are just as smart. Imagine, you are sitting in New York, but your data center is in Oklahoma. A very, very typical scenario. Um, you can be near your server, so everything that you need us, you need to work on the server is accessible remotely through our ILO 4 technology, the ILO management engine. Your hard drives have it starting to develop signs of problems. You know it has to be replaced. So what you do is you schedule a technician and to make sure that this technician doesn't pull out the long hard drive, you can set remotely illuminate this hard drive. So when uh, the technician does come there, he knows exactly which hard drive to pull out because it's illum illuminated. Once this drive is pulled out, your data is still there, but it's non-redundant. It's on your other drives. So at that point, the do not remove light on the other drives comes on. And uh, at this point, you know, um, don't touch. When you insert the new drive, your rate starts rebuilding. When your data is redundant again, the lights go off and you're done. And, and we've all lost data because somebody pulled the wrong drive. So, so this is a, a amazing. One of the other, other reasons for uh, server service calls is bent CPU pins. CPUs need to be changed. Our new smart socket guide allows, it does the alignment for you. All you have to do is drop in the CPU and close the guide. It does the alignment for you, eliminates errors like that. And here's the, here's the real, um, here's the critical thing about this. When CPU pins get misaligned, uh, you may not even know about it. Your server will still come up and errors may develop over time and that's why it is very, it, it is extremely hard to debug because you may not even tie it to that event. And, and that's why it's so critical that, um, that uh, we get this right. So has that made it virtually impossible to bend pins on a CPU now? Well, let's, let's just say we've done 
as much as we, a lot in our power to make it very, very difficult. That's a good overview of the, the 380p. If I were to demo some other server, I'd use exactly the same examples and exactly the same technology. So this is true for all of our Gen 8 servers. So it truly is a, a unified uh, platform. It is a common design. Um, and speaking of commonality, um, as much as possible, we've tried to use commonality in our products. For example, our common slot power supplies are the same design for our servers, so you could you don't have to order a different power supply for a different uh, uh, product. The 360 pr power supply can plug into a 380 power supply, can plug into an ML350 power supply. So that would, that would allow for, if there's an emergency situation where you had duplicate power supplies in one box and none in another, you could stay up by swapping in a power supply. Or you can stock up. You can stock up the common power supplies and use them when you need to. Smart memories, do the same thing. Hard drives, do this, you can do the same thing. Keep a stock of it and you don't have to mix and match. You can put them where you need them.